Hello, welcome to the short video on corneal conditions today. My name is Miss Katina Khanum. I'm your consultant surgeon at uh, my eye clinic. So this topic we're going to talk about is corneal abrasion, which is an injury to the top layer of the cornea. So this is your cornea here, and this is the window of the eye. So if I turn it uh, to the side, you can see the clear window here. This layer is called cornea and it's made up of six layers and we're going to talk about the top layer where the abrasion occurs and a scratch is an abrasion that can lead to recurrent corneal erosion syndrome. What is that? So if we look at this cornea for example, this is a normal cornea and uh, we've just taken out of the globe there. So the top layer is called corneal epithelium and if you get a scratch in that it is very painful because the top layer has the highest density of corneal nerves. It has the highest density of nerve anywhere you can find in the body. So it'll be extremely painful, but it also heals very well. And how it heals is it heals from the outside in. So it will heal within 24 hours to 48 hours and it will heal and cover the defect where the scratch is. What happens is sometimes if this uh, layer is hasn't had that much time to stick onto the layers underneath, then it will peel off very, very easily. And if it peels off very, very easily, you can imagine it will be repeating the same uh, episode again, where it's very, very painful and you can suffer from this every week or every few days where you wake up suddenly in the middle of the night with excruciating pain because what happened was you opened your eyes and the lid has peeled off that loose layer that's just healed improperly. There are a few things we can do. Uh, one is you need to see your doctor obviously when the first scratch happens. Sometimes people are not aware that something's happened apart from the, that, the fact that it was a little bit painful, it was red and then it healed a couple of days later. It particularly happens with new mums or new dads where uh, toddlers, toddlers like to uh, poke parents in the eye and they always go for the eye and they say that's that's the injury that they remember when they come and see us years later with recurrent erosion syndrome and that's how it happens so if you have any scratch to the eye or any injury to the eye it's very important to come and see us or or an, or, or an optician to see if there's an cornea abrasion you will need antibiotics for that uh, for, for treatment of that because what happens is you've got an ulcer on top of top of this layer and all the floral bacteria can go in there there's no barrier anymore so you need to make sure that you have antibiotics to heal that and to heal it properly with the recurrent erosion syndrome what other treatments that we can offer is very very useful what we do is either we make tiny little micro needle abrasion ourselves which will hopefully give you better immune system to heal better the corneal epithelium and then give you a nice layer which is very sticky to the underlying uh, layers of the cornea so you won't peel off every time you open your eyes and the other things that we offer is in this clinic we can do laser uh, treatment which is called phototherapeutic keratotomies PTK with the eczema laser here and that it has a really good track record of completely curing recurrent erosion syndrome or giving you longer lasting relief from recurrent erosion syndrome. The last treatment that I want to talk to you about is alcohol debridement where we use um, alcohol to um, loosen up the, the area where the erosion was and make sure that uh, that gives good impetus for the body to heal with a nice healthy layer on top. So all of these have very good results the PTK or the laser treatment has the best results out of all of those that we have tried so far. So if you have any symptoms like you've had injury and you've had redness in the eye and it healed very quickly within a day or two or you know you've had corneal abrasion which is a scratch in the eye and you've got symptoms like you're waking up at night with excruciating pain then you can try all of those treatments. Obviously the basic treatment is what we start you on, the antibiotics, ointments and the drops. Then we can go up the ladder and offer you the other treatments. So you know where to find us in clinic and online and on Google and social media and we offer these uh, treatments in this clinic as well. Thank you very much.